Hey, welcome back to this YouTube channel. My name is Shani. I'm here to help you unleash your personal brand, which means getting recognized, becoming a client magnet, attracting premium clients, and getting the income and the lifestyle that you deserve because your personal brand is popping, okay? So another video that I am freestyling it today, today is um, another day off. I don't know why, but lately I've been filming a lot on my days off while usually I would typically film on a day that I'm working. So that's actually funny. Quick update, I'm still working from home. I moved out of my office last September because I realized that I started to travel a lot for business, especially to the US, not as much to Europe as I want to, but I'm definitely finding ways that I could do that better and be more in the Netherlands this year. But I started to think that it wasn't as convenient for me to have an office where I'm spending so much time traveling, right? So I decided to work from home. And then another reason is that I'm also fostering rescue dogs, which honestly, I might just decide to be a sponsor instead of a foster because they are shaking up my routine. I have them right here in front of me right now. So I'm hoping that they can be quiet, but that's another reason that working from home was very convenient because I can take care of them, I can train them, work a little bit in between, go to clients, come back, let them out. So I didn't also wanna be driving back and forth to the office too much, but I have to be honest with you, um, if you watch me here on YouTube, you get inside news that nobody else gets. Working from home is not the best for my mental health. It's turning out to be. So I'm realizing that I miss the joy of getting dressed up, getting my makeup on, I miss seeing people every day, even if it's like the receptionist at the office saying good morning, um, even if it's like other business owners that are renting in the same building, having a little chat at the coffee machine, or just seeing people walking by. Like, I feel like I really um, am becoming more of a people person. I'm a huge introvert, severe introvert but I'm starting to feel like it's very lonely working from home. So there may be an update where I get another office. <laughs> if you're following my journey here, stand by for that, because even though I'm traveling a lot, um, the other thing is too, that it's the same space where I relax. So my brain is having a little bit of a hard time switching between chill out mode and focus mode. So I realize now that the change in environment, just going out, getting dressed, getting into the office, like locking myself in the office or seeing clients, that switches my brain more. So I'm having a little bit more trouble getting into flow when I work from home. Like there's a lot of distractions, so yeah. I'm gonna give it another try for another couple of months, but stand by for that because I might be a, be doing a new office tour pretty soon. <laughs> I'm telling you, I had to learn to be very graceful with myself and give myself a lot of love because I used to hate how I switch between decisions and go back to decisions because I was so convinced that working from home is gonna be the freedom-based business model for me, but... I'm not sure I'm gonna stick with that decision, but I've learned to tell myself that it's okay if I have to waver and pivot, and I want you to give yourself that type of grace as well. You may say yes to someone that turns out to be a no after a couple of months. You may say yes to a project, and then it turns out not to be a fit. Don't feel chained to it just because you wanna stick to your decision. But that's not the topic of the video at all. So the topic of the video was inspired by me spending some time with family in the holidays. By the way, Happy New Year, if you're watching this video in real time. Um, and 
sticking to the topic of reinventing yourself, glowing up your life, unleashing the next level of who you are, which is a big part of your personal brand, by the way, is the tip of having a theme for the year. So um, you may have seen a lot of TikToks or stories where people are saying what's in and what's out, like this is out and stays in the last year and this is in and this is going to be in for this year. And I really love that. Now, I didn't make one of those, but it did get me thinking. And the power of intention can really change and level up and glow up your life. So the first thing I'm going to recommend based on what I'm doing is to really write down what the areas are that you're wanting to glow up in, whether it is your life, your body, your business, your money, romance, whatever the case might be. But also don't choose more than two. Like ideally you only have one because when we start to overwhelm ourselves with a billion things that we want to change, we end up feeling burnt out before even getting started. So for me, simplifying things and achieving them one by one has really worked much better than just having like a, a huge list of things that I want to change. And you'll also notice that when you have an intention and you put a theme to the year, it tends to have a domino effect in everything else when it comes to your money, your love life, your business, your career, your look, the body, everything. So you don't need to worry about, well, if I only choose one theme for my glow up to reinvent myself, then everything else in my life is going to stay the same. So let me give you an example. For me, there are two things that I've been thinking about. One is growing my business exponentially, which is why I'm also making more effort in producing more income because I want more people to know about me, what I do, etc. Which you'll see a couple of videos about that coming up soon. I've revamped the way that I do videos, so you'll see that coming up. But um, so that's sales, right? So that sales is one of the things that I want to increase on because between you and me, the last year was not a good year for me. There's a lot of things that I did. There's a lot of trips that I made. There's a lot of luxury vacations that I took, but it's still not, the, I, I'm not satisfied with the numbers at all. Um, I was actually surprised that it was a six figure year for me because I was really thinking by the, by the slow pace that things were going that I didn't stick to six figures in my business by, by how bad I was thinking things are going. But I was happy to see, I actually ran my numbers on Tuesday and I, I'm not so um, far away from my usual yearly revenue so i'm still maintaining my you know good upwards of six figures but it's not where i want to be at all i want to be at, at least three times what i made so that's one thing and the other thing is that i've been feeling like i miss my people so I have been really successful, even though I say it myself, but I've been really successful in creating my online presence. Like as an island girl, I've been able to find ways to network and build relationships online with people all over the world. Like I work with people from Cyprus, from the UK, from the US. Um, to be honest with you, 90% of my income is not from local business. So I found my way as a Caribbean girl, an island girl in a very small community to have a fully international career. So I know all about international banking, global bank accounts, getting paid in Swiss francs, British pounds, euros, US dollars. I know how to penetrate international markets. And I've built this whole online business and online lifestyle. And I actually connect with people online more 
then I connect with people locally or in person because I'm a heavy introvert. So when I discovered that people were building businesses on the internet instead of in person, I immediately found my heaven. I found my place. So I created my online brand. I created my online business. I'm obsessed with creating funnels and building databases and things like that. And for the past 10 years or so, all my career was built with online systems. Like even people that work with me from the island, Corso, most of the work that we do happens online. Zoom meetings instead of in person. Email is used a lot. I do a lot of virtual services based on lead generation and marketing and branding that happens on the internet, on social media. I have canceled the majority of work that requires for me to be there in person. And I love that. I wouldn't want to change that for the world because there's so much freedom with that, that I could be in Paris and still working with my clients. But the downside is that all my friendships are somewhere in the clouds. Like last year, I visited Kelsey in South Carolina, um, and then I also had a speaking engagement in Gainesville where I met some, some other of the ladies that I network with online, and that was one of the few times where I took something out of the internet and into my personal life. But it can get very lonely when all my friendships are built online with international people or online with local people. Because what happens on a random Sunday that I want someone to go to the beach with? Right now, I only have my best friend, Pauline. I don't have, like, really have people in my life like that. I remember when I turned 40, I had this amazing party. And I actually had to be really creative in gathering a list of people to invite to my birthday because otherwise it would have just been me, my mom and dad and two two people, right? So I had to like really think back, well, who did I work with before? I had a lot of people from the office and I love them. I, I want to see them at all my birthdays. But my point is there wasn't a group of friends that I could invite to the birthday. There wasn't a group of clients that live here on the island that I could invite because everybody that I deal with is in the internet. And this is a goal for a lot of people. But for me, I started feeling like Man, if I get a flat tire, I have nobody to call. Like if I have an emergency and God forbid my mom is traveling, my mom travels a lot. She goes on a lot of vacations. Who do I call? My uncles? Well, my uncles are busy, but like, isn't it nice to have like a list of people that like rock with you and you know that like I was even, this is, this is much more of a depressing video than I thought it would be. I was even thinking, who would come to my funeral? Because like all these people on the internet, it's nice. They could, they would surely type out their sentiments. But like, do I have people that like me or know me like that after decades of separating myself from the world and only operating online like that? And sometimes I love it because I'm heavy. I'm still a heavy introvert, but I was starting to feel like man, I have no people around me. And so when I turned 40, that was already like a signal that I need to make some changes because how is it possible that I'm planning to have an amazing birthday party and I can't come up with a list of 10 people to invite to the birthday? So the technology has gone so far to make us think we have a life where all we have is online connections. So I'm happy that last year I got to meet a lot of people in person. I wanna be a part of more communities where when they have their masterminds or when they have like their reunions once a year, I don't care if I have to travel and go meet these people. Um, like for some of the people in Atlanta, they just had to grab a domestic flight from Miami, New York, whatever. For me, it was a two day trip because I went to Miami first and then I went to Atlanta. We do have direct flights now, but the point is I'm willing to make that extra investment and an extra sacrifice 
where for them it's just maybe a 45 minute drive to get there but I will travel to do that because I started to feel like I don't really have real people in my life so I say this whole long rant to say that was a big intention for me to create relationships so to work more on relationships relationships with my mom my dad, my sisters, um, some people don't even know that I have siblings. So I have two sisters and a brother. There's four of us. And then when you look at S. Summer, which is my initials, there's about eight or nine of us. We're all S. Summer. So my dad, my sisters, my brother, um, some of their kids. Uh, some of my cousins like if you are looking for S summer, you're gonna be very confused <laughs> But like I want better relationships with them because I don't see them more than more than once a year or more than once every two years um, Friendships I want to build and network and build more friendships. I want to network with more business people locally I don't know how yet, but more in person so I started to register for more local events, get, get myself present in more local things that are happening. And once I was working on setting that intention, I realized that it will have a domino effect on everything else because sales, which I was talking about in the beginning of this video, which is also something that I want to improve, is relationships. So even though I am pushing myself to choosing one theme for the year, by choosing relationships, I'm also automatically going to increase my sales. Because when you think about it, the more people you're in contact with, the more people you keep in touch with, the more referrals you're going to get, the more opportunities you're going to get, the more events you're going to be at, and people are going to start asking what you do. So it's going to have a domino effect, even if you only pick a theme. So my theme for 2024 is relationships. And I already know it's going to have an effect on all the other areas of my life. So what is, and my battery is about to die, so I'm going to wrap up the video with this question. What is your theme for 2024? Is it maybe self-love? Is it maybe confidence? Maybe you want to work on your career. So maybe you're stuck in corporate and now finally you're going to say yes to your business dream. Maybe, maybe career is the theme for you there. Maybe it's your personal brand. You want to improve your presence so that people know who you are and send you those premium deals and you stop getting skipped over. Maybe it's a skill. Maybe it's art. Maybe it's your body, right? So I'm just giving you some examples, but choose a theme because when you don't, you start writing goals left and right and all that's going to happen with that is overwhelm and delay where if you have one theme you have something very specific that you're working on and you're going to see it have effects on all the other things in your life that are also lacking so i'm excited to keep you updated with my glow up and reinventing myself as someone who is great at relationships i want to mirror what i've achieved and am achieving online with real people in my life so stand by if you're watching for me to give you updates on how that is going and uh, um, yeah, hopefully this inspires you to choose one theme to glow up in, to reinvent yourself in. And um, let me know if there's topics in terms of like a glow up that you want to do this year or in your business that you want me to talk about. I've got some exciting stuff coming, but uh, until the next video then, okay, because my battery is about to die. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.